Education Galaxy presents represent ratios, fractions, and percents. Today we're going to talk about models. No, not those models, math models. We're going to use models to represent ratios, fractions, and percents. For example, in this rectangular model, the ratio of shaded squares to total squares is 24 to 40. Since percent means per hundred, I can find the percent by setting this ratio equal to x over 100. However, before we find the percent, I notice that I can simplify the first ratio by dividing the numerator and denominator by 8. This gives us 3 over 5 equals x over 100. Now we need to think. 5 times what gives me 100? That's right, it's 20. Next, we need to multiply 3 times 20, and this will give us our percent. What did you get? That's right, it's 60%. To write 60% as a decimal, think how you would write 60 cents with a dollar sign. Yes, it's 0 0.60 or simply 0 0.6. Now let's review. We have our model, our ratio, our fraction, our percent, and our decimal. Now let's look at some benchmark fractions. We'll start with one half. Since half a dollar is 50 cents, one half is 50% or 0 0.5. If you cut a half in half, you get one fourth. Four quarters make a dollar, so one fourth is 25% or 0 0.25 and three fourths is 75% or 0 0.75. If you cut a fourth in half, you get an eighth. Imagine cutting a quarter in half. It would be equal to 12.5 cents. So 1 eighth is 12.5% or 0 0.125. 20 nickels make a dollar. So 1 fifth is another good benchmark fraction. 1 fifth is 20% or 0 0.2. If I cut fifths in half, I get tenths. And remember, 10 dimes make a dollar. So 1 tenth is 10% or 0 0.1. The last benchmark fraction that we will look at is 1 third. 33 times 3 is 99, so you would have to split that last penny up. That means that one third is 33 and a third percent, or 0 0.3 forever. The bar over the 3 indicates that it keeps going. Let's do a practice problem together. What ratio is represented by this model? Write that ratio as a fraction, a percent, and a decimal. Let's use the ratio shaded squares to total squares. There are 12 shaded squares and 32 total. To find the percent, I set this ratio equal to the ratio x over 100. However, before we find x, let's simplify the first ratio. I can divide the numerator and denominator by 4. This gives me 3 over 8 equals x over 100. I remember that 1 eighth is a benchmark fraction that is equal to 12 and a half percent. That means that 3 eighths is simply 12.5 times 3. This is 37 and a half percent. To change a percent to a decimal, we simply think, how would I write 37 and a half cents with a dollar sign? This is 0 0.375. Let's review the parts again. We have our model, ratio, fraction, percent, and decimal. Let's do another practice problem together, then you'll be ready to work some problems on your own. Look at this number line model. What value is represented by the dot? First, let's count the total number of sections between 0 and 1. There are 5. Next, let's count the sections from 0 up to the dot. There are 3. We'll use the ratio part to total, and our fraction is 3 over 5. To find the percent, I can set this fraction equal to the ratio x over 100. We can solve this proportion directly, or we can use the fact that 1 fifth is a benchmark fraction that equals 20%, so 3 fifths is simply 20 times 3, which is 60%. Remember, to change a percent to a fraction, simply think, how would I write 60 cents with a dollar sign? This is also the same as moving the decimal two places to the left. 60% is equal to the decimal 0 0.60 or simply 0 0.6.
Ratios, fractions, and percents are embedded in all areas of our lives, so they are important concepts to understand. Okay, now you're ready to try some problems on your own.